Hello everyone, how are you all? So uh, today I am here to discuss active and passive voice with you people. So as we people think that active and passive voice is a very complicated topic, <coughs> we need to learn so many rules for that. So today I have tried to explain active and passive voice in a very easy and trusting manner. So let's get started. Let me present the screen. Just give me a second. Oh. Hmm. Yes, I have taken the point also. So, as I have already told that today's topic is active and passive voice. So, as look at the definition, the verb that states, the verb that states the action done by the subject is said to be an active voice as the Mughals built the Taj Mahal so who built Taj Mahal? Mughals Mughals is the subject and the verb is presented is presenting the action done by the subject so as we have seen the definition ki the verb that states the action done by the subject and if I say the same thing I can convey in another way how let's see the verb that states the action done the action that is done to the subject done by the subject and done to the subject for instance the Taj Mahal was built by the Mughals so the same thing we have conveyed in the another manner that is the Taj Mahal was built by the Mughals. Right? So these are the definitions. Now have a look on some more examples. I have made a chart. Here I have taken some examples in active form and same are in passive form. So the first sentence that I have taken, Rohit buys a book, right? So same thing I can convey in another way, a book is bought by Rohit. Next one, the doctor treated the patient. Same thing I can convey in passive manner also, the patient was treated by the doctor. R.K. Narayan wrote the guide right the guide was written by rk narayan so this narayan is for passive form right so the same thing we can convey rk narayan wrote the guide and the same thing the guide was written by rk narayan now we will learn how to change active voice into passive voice because we have discussed some examples but now the question is ki what is the way? How can we change active voice into passive voice? As I promised, ki we will not discuss any rules. Simply we are going to change active voice into passive voice. How? Let's see. So first of all, I have written simple present tense here. So simple present tense, why I have written tense here? Because until or unless we people will not know the uh, used tense in the sentence will not be able to convert it into passive voice. Because we change active form into passive form according to the tenses. So first tense that I have taken that is simple present tense. So it is singular sentence Robin writes a poem. Robin writes a poem. So uh, here Robin is subject and he is writing a poem that is active form. So while changing active form into passive form we just interchange the positions of subject and object. In place of subject we are going to write object and in place of object we are going to write subject. Robin writes a poem so we could also say the same sentence in the manner a poem is written by Robin. So that is the passive form if the subject is singular. 
बट इफ द सब्जेक्ट इज प्लोरल लाइक दे राइट पोएम्स सो हेयर यू कैन सी कि आई हैव टेकन सब्जेक्ट एंड ऑब्जेक्ट बोथ इन प्लोरल मैनर राइट सो दैट द थिंग्स विल बी ईजियर कन्वे टू यू हेयर आई हैव एडिट एस इन द वर्ब because with singular subject we do add s or es in the verb but if the subject is plural so we do not add s or es in the verb we simply write base form of the verb right and while changing in passive form we'll take the subject that is poems then we'll use r as the poem is the plural and then third form this we have to learn that we use third form of the verb that is also known as past participle in passive form then by and then them that is they that is the subject that is the objective form of they right so it will be conveyed into them so here i have written the structure basically ki how i have change uh, i have made these changes right first of all object as you know ki this is object then is am or are according to the object so we have to see कि इफ द सब्जेक्ट इज सिंगुलर सो वी आर गोइंग टू यूज इज इफ द सब्जेक्ट इज प्लूरल सो वी आर गोइंग टू यूज आर एंड देन वर्क थर्ड फॉर्म एंड देन बाई एंड देन दैम वी नीड टू चेक द ऑब्जेक्ट फॉर्म इट इज इन सिंगुलर फॉर्म देन इज इफ इट इज इन प्लूरल फॉर्म देन आर आई होप यू गॉट दिस सो सिंपली हेयर वी हैव टू रिमेंबर दैट इन सिंपल प्रेजेंट टेंस इफ द सेंटेंस इज इन सिंपल प्रेजेंट टेंस we have to use is am or are plus verb third form and verb third form we have to use in every tense so we have to remember only is am or are according to the subject so i hope it's very simple let's move to next tense next is simple past tense so it is also very simple as you can see i have taken some example uh, first of all singular example robin wrote a poem so here robin is subject again and the poem a poem is object again i have taken the same example because the things will not be very much complicated for you people so a poem that is my object i will write here first of all then was then verb third form that is also known as past participle then by and then subject right and if it is plural then in place of in place of was i'm going to write were for example they wrote poems so here poems that is object is in plural form so i have written poem then were then third form of the verb then by and then subject subject is change into the objective form of it because we are not going to write by they we are going to write by them fine so uh, structure let's see it's very simple first of all subject subject was or were was is here were with plural object verb third form in both of them taken third form then by and then subject right i hope it's very simple so let let's sum up it in simple past tense we use was were plus verb third form so here we need to set in our mind simple past tense while changing a simple past tense sentence into passive form we need to add was or were let's move to next tense next one is simple future tense simple future tense is very simple if we talk about singular so then we use will if we talk about plural so then also we use will there is no change right sometimes we can use shall also how and where because with first person pronoun we can use shall as well and will as well right but in modern english it is will is accepted with all the subjects right but for extra knowledge i just discuss this so robin will write a poem so here robin is that is subject then will write verb and the poem that is object so first of all we'll take object that is a poem 
then will remain same in passive form also very interesting and then we'll add only b b e b right b we need to add b and then verb third form then by and then subject right and if we talk about plural they will write poems again poems will be written by them so they ka uh, they ki objective form ho gayi yahan pe them right structure object will be or shall be then verb third form that is very prominent in every passive form and then by and then subject so let's sum up simple future quickly we need to add only be will be shall be if we are writing shall so then shall be if we are writing will then will be and third form is very prominent so it's very simple will be plus third form or shall be plus third form fine let's move to next tense next is present continuous tense present continuous something is continue right now i'm teaching you you are listening to me right and the topic is going on that is active and passive voice okay so a uh, singular example robin is writing a poem robin is writing a poem active form now let's change in passive form a poem is being written by robin so here what i've done a poem that is object i have written here then is copied 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 and then being added and then third form then by and then subject right and if it is plural like they are writing poems so then poems are will be copied then being third form by them so this is the structure object is am are plus being plus verb third form plus by and then subject so while converting active voice into passive form in present continuous tense we need to add only being because is am are is already there so we will add being plus verb third form and third form is very prominent in passive form so we will use only be ing be ing yani jo verb ki ing this ing has added into be right i n g and then third form then by and then subject i hope it's very easy let's move to next slide next one is past continuous tense if we talk about past continuous tense so something was continue in past something was continue in past so if something was continue in past so how we are going to convert such type of sentence in passive form let's have a look robin was writing a poem robin was writing a poem so it was continue in past so here a poem that is object we have taken copied was then added b i n g then write third form written then by and then robin so it has become a poem was being written by robin and if it is in plural they were writing poems so poems were being written by them remember always remember ki we add was or were according to the object here right if they are poems then were if there is poem then was so have a look on structure object was or were then being verb third form that is very prominent by also very prominent and then subject i hope there is no confusion so move to next slide oh present perfect tense present perfect tense something has been perfectly done in present right so robin has written a poem robin has written a poem so now how can we convert into passive form a poem 
that is object has copied added been added been so in perfect we add has been or how been has been with the singular and how been with the plural a poem has been written by robin and if they have written poems poems have been written by them so this is a structure object has or have according to the object then been then verb third form very prominent in passive form by and then subject hope it's clear move to next slide past perfect tense so in past perfect tense something was perfectly done in past okay so now how can we convert such a sentence in passive form will it be very difficult no 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 it's also very simple so robin had written poems robin had written poems sorry a poem so a poem had been written by robin right and if so many poems they had written poems so rob again poems had been written by them oh very nice so in this we need not to check whether the subject is singular or plural hardly matters because with singular subject also and with plural subject also we are going to use had been plus third form third form is also known as past participle right so uh, see object then had been plus verb third form then by and then subject so this is the structure of past perfect tense let's sum up in past perfect tense had plus been plus verb third form okay so now these are the modals that are very easy to change into passive form because sometimes you find the sentences like you shall go you may go it may rain so how to convert them into passive form so students it's very simple whenever we see such type of sentences like robin may write poems yeah for robin may write poem right so we'll copy may here and then we'll add b so it will be poem may be written by robin right so we have to add b with all of them while converting a sentence which is made by modals will add b them right and third form is very prominent like poem may be written by robin and poem should be written by robin means jo bhi modal usme diya hua hai we need to add b in that and third form is very prominent so it may rain <laughs> that's comment okay so thank you so much for watching this video and please do not forget to like our video bye